So now we'll see the master data in SAP Plant Maintenance. See the complete data or type of data is divided into three type in SAP. Or we can say the complete ERB package is divided into three parts. The first part we call it master data. In master data is a basic data required to run any business process. The common example of master data is material master, vendor master, equipment master, function location. These are a common example of master data. Another type of uh, the breakup of ERP is transaction data. The transaction data is a data which will uh, that data which is required to record the different activities performed by the business. Let's say if you are purchasing any goods, so you want to record that purchasing. So that record the data required to record that activity is called transaction data. So the common example of transaction data is purchase order, production order, maintenance order, preventive maintenance order. These are all transaction data. Now you have, you had a master data and on the basis of that master data, you have performed certain transaction. So definitely you can have a third output of your requirement that is reporting. So remember the complete package is divided into three parts, master data, transaction data and reporting. So the most important master data here is equipment, right? Generally the equipment, the very basic understanding about the equipment is a equipment is a machine. So it is a equipment, it is a machine. It can be a small machine, it can be a big machine, it can be a single machine, it can be a group of machine. Okay. So this is a uh, equipment now why we need equipment what is the purpose of equipment so the purpose of equipment creation is that we want to manage the individual data about equipment suppose today you have purchased one equipment and you want to store its information related to the warranty okay you want to store the information related to the different specification of a uh, equipment Suppose, uh, let's take another realistic example here. Suppose you have purchased one pump today. And in that pump, you got a warranty of a one year. So definitely you would like to record that warranty somewhere in SAP system. Then you also want to record the specification of that pump. What is the head of a pump? What is the impeller size? What is the impeller material? This type of technical information you also want to record so this is the one purpose of equipment master creation you can record the information then you can also record the maintenance task which you are going to perform in future when you install equipment so every equipment needs a periodic maintenance so during your periodic maintenance what type of task you have performed whether like in case of a pump whether you have changed is oil seal or not, whether the impeller or bearing is making any sound or not, whether the temperature of a bearing is okay or not. So these all are a different task which you can record. And this on basis of this task, you can also predict the life of your equipment and somehow you'll be able to know the future failure. So, and in last session, we have seen that Every equipment is not critical, but if your critical equipment gets failed, then you will have a direct production loss. In our equipment master, we can define the criticality of equipment. So maintenance is very important. Also, you can, when you purchase equipment and when you are performing any maintenance, so you'll incur some sort of expenses. Suppose you today got a one pump and that pump cost is $1,000. And by the period of three years, you already consumed spares of 800 
dollars in it so now you can take a decision whether i should continue with this pump or should i change that pump or bought a new pump because when things or the spare part gets old so there are chances of wear and tear more number of breakdown so you can take a decision like whether you want to repair it or replace it so it is called repair or replace decision then you can also know the running time of a uh, pump so these are a few functions available to us and for that purpose we create a equipment master in sap so now let's do one thing let's go to the sap and first of all we'll create one simple equipment master so for equipment master creation the transaction code is i01 see these are a number which you can have in sap there are two type of number ranges uh, it is called internal or external number ranges either you can use your own number for equipment or any type of master data code transaction data creation or you can go for a internal number ranges in case of a internal number ranges system will automatically generate number in case of external number ranges you have to give your own number now equipment category whether this equipment belongs to which category whether it is machine or your vehicle employee it equipment right so all these are a category you can create these category based on your nature of equipment you have so i'm simply picking machine here so this is a first screen of equipment master creation so i'm putting simply putting one uh, hydraulic pump i'm putting description is a hydraulic pump it means this is a hydraulic pump which i am going to which i am creating now you can see there are many fields so not all fields are mandatory but at the time of creation of equipment if you use most of the details so it will be very easy for you to break down the equipment and all that so here object type what type of object it is see here you have a pump oil pump authorization group is not required weight you can give weight size dimension you can give a start up date when you started this equipment acquisition value at the time of acquisition of this equipment what is the value see because uh, sap is a integrated software this equipment master is also used for asset creation uh, or asset management which is a core fi area so at the time of capitalization of asset they need uh, this is a statutory requirement they need what was the acquisition value and what was the acquisition date so you can put your acquisition value at acquisition date it is suggested to enter requisition value requisition date it is not necessary and then here you can have a few data related to the equipment the manufacturer so let's say i am putting the manufacturer is siemens model number a part number if you have any part number if you have any serial number here this type of detail see it is asking me currency this is i entered acquisition value is 1000 so it is asking me what 1000 whether it is rupee dollar and what so i'm putting i'm putting usd here right then i can go to the next one see next one maintenance plant see at the time equipment master creation you have to define that this particular equipment is located where so this is this particular tab is about the location so our plant is pm01 it means this is a 
this hydraulic pump is available in PM01. Under this PM01, in which section? Production area, supply area. I think we have made one small mistake. In plant section, we have entered this <laughs> person. No, sorry. Correct, correct, correct. These are a plant section, but somehow I entered the person name here in place of a, a, a description because here you don't have description of label. So these are a sections 100, 200, 300, 400. And this is a person responsible. So I'm put, putting Ms. Namu. And here you can define a criticality of equipment. Like you got this hydraulic pump, whether this hydraulic pump has a, any production loss involved or no effect in production. So let's say I'm putting this is a critical equipment, a production loss involved. That's why it is a critical equipment. Then this is here we have one free field. What happened? Many times. Uh, industry have their own legacy numbering ranges for pump and motors and spare. So if you have your own legacy number range, you can enter here. Let's say I'm giving this num old plant oil pump. So I can give any detail here. Then organization. See, these again, the organization area and again, these become account assignment part. Account assignment means it is related to the uh, integration between PS and accounting team. So when we go for the integration at that time, we'll see. So here, uh, there is a planner group. When I say planner group means, see here we have a responsibility. The planning plant. So our probably second lecture was about the planning plant and the plan uh, the maintenance plant so here you have to assign that which planning plant is responsible for planning of maintenance the planner group if you remember we have created planner group starts with y these are y1 y2 by three, so this is a pump. So I'm putting mechanical as a one planner group, right? Then a structure. I'm not going currently into a structure part. First of all, after this equipment, we'll go for a function location, and after that, we'll make a relationship between equipment and function location. So this much is a basic requirement. Apart from that, here you'll also have a warranty related detail, like customer warranty, vendor warranty. So you can enter here. The warranty start date, on which date the warranty starts, on which date the warranty gets signed. So what is the benefit of entering warranty details here? See, on basis of this warranty, we can have, we have one option or, or we can say the one function in SAP, which is called warranty management. So suppose you have a 10,000 of equipment. How would you remember that whether, uh, that equi which equipment is under warranty or which is not? So if you, enter the detail here in equipment master about the warranty detail about the warranty at the time of equipment creation system can send you a reminder about the warranty is either expired or about it is about to expire so this type of basically the warranty detail will help us in managing our equipments effectively that's it. I'm saving it. This is a pretty new server of SAP. That's why it takes this much of time. Otherwise, this is not that big master. see here one equipment got 
created. 